So the brand finally sent out the Dark Plates 2.0. And I have the box right here. I already opened it up. And I have the Damascus that they sent with it because they were late on shipment because of the whole shipment crisis and what's going on right now. So they sent me the black ones that I ordered and they send this Damascus ones right here for the PS5. So I don't know if y'all remember back in uh, a couple months ago, maybe almost a year ago, whenever the brand launched the dark plate, um, they got sued by PlayStation or Sony, I guess because they copied the actual plates. They look just like the uh, factory ones. So here in this box, we got the 2.0s. And I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this all in the frame. Let me move this lights out of the way real quick. Pull this back. All right, so there it is. So here you all see the box. All right, let's get that out of the way. Here you have a cough. Here's what it looks like. All right, cool, let's put that out of the way. You got a black one and it's basically the same thing. Here is the LED light that covers the PlayStation 5's uh, LED lights that are already there. Basically, they give you, I ordered, I think it was orange. They give you that orange um, tint whenever they're turned on. And then you, you have another um, rag there. And in the back it says, the brand is not a product, it's a culture. So, the brand has some nice presentation right here with this box. It kind of opens up like this. It has a D brand's how to install. I don't know if you can see it right there. And in the back, it says the Dark Plates 2.0. You can see right there. All right, let's move that out of the way. Comes nice and padded with some foams. And I have the disc version, so it comes with the dark plate like this. It has that vent and the disc cut out right there. And like the PlayStation, how they have those uh, triangles. And like how PlayStation has those uh, the triangles and the um, squares, you know, like the PlayStation uh, logo. These ones have ones and zeros. I don't know if you could tell right here. I'll try to grab a better macro of this so you can see it. All right, let's put this to the side. Then I'm gonna put them together, move this box out of the way, that way you can see how it looks. And then another foam and. The other side. Oh, it's been there. Can get it out. Alright, here's the other side. And nice and matte finish right there. And then it has that vent, which kind of distinguishes it from the PlayStation type. So those ones and zeros also carry to this. Nice and sturdy, feels nice and thick ones and zeros in the box there's nothing else there. on the back it has the ones and zeros and there you can tell right there Put the other way. I think that's kind of cool that's a attention to detail if you ask me and there it is all right so before we uh, bring the PS5 out here, I just want to show you both plates next to each other and how they look. If you were to look at the box right here, you could see 
the design on there. It's basically the actual faceplate of the PS5 in the box. So here's my PS5 in all its glory. It has a skin by uh, Street Speed 717 and it has a couple of stickers that say scum on it. And here she is. So we're gonna take those plates out. I already have them slightly off. And we're gonna see how the deck Dark Plates 2.0 look on my PS5 so let's begin so I basically have them off already I just put them there on the side if you want to see a video on how to take these plates off there's plenty of them on YouTube so I'm not going to waste time it's really simple and um, again just go to YouTube and find out how to do that so here is one of them off and you can see how dirty they were. Well, I'm gonna get that out of the way. Here is the other one. And there is my PS5 naked without any plates. But no longer will they be on there because I'm about to change them for the dark plates once I get this light to stay there. All right. Let's put the new plates in, but first we need to wipe the PS5 down. I'm going to use one of the rags they gave me. I'm going to just focus on the sides right here. So these vinyls that go over the light, they have where it says left, as you can see right there. Try to get that there. This one says left, and the other one says right. So it shouldn't be that hard to um, figure out, as you can see right there. So it shouldn't be that hard to figure out to put these on. So this is on the left. So let's put this one on first and see how they look. That's how that looks. All right, so we have one side done. Now we're gonna do the other side. Um, I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm just gonna show you the end result. All right, so we're back. And as you can see, I took out the stickers that go there. They're gone, but now we're gonna clean them with some isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber towel. We're gonna wipe that down and make it look pretty again. And then once we're done, we're gonna install that Damascus um, vinyl that goes over the top of that. Now I know a lot of people are gonna grab that Damascus uh, overlay and they're gonna put it on eBay and they're gonna sell it for like God knows how much. But I'm gonna put it on my PlayStation because I really don't care much about that. Now, I see that there's another uh, backing or another vinyl, and I'm guessing that goes to the back of the PS5 um, or somewhere. I'll figure it out eventually, but let's get to the cleaning and see you guys in a bit. So let's go. All right, so let's align the power and ejecto seto buttons. Really sticky. All right, that is a line right there.
That looks pretty good. Let me get this out of the way. Wow. All right. I'm not gonna lie. It looks way better in person. Um, let me give you guys. A Perfectly aligned on the holes. Goes all the way up. All the way back. I don't know, but that looks really good to me. Let's look at this line, see how close we could get. That is perfect. Let's carry on. Let's go ahead and put these plates on and see what the final product looks like. So let's go ahead and put these plates on real quick and see how it looks with the plates on. So let's see if I could put them on here. See how that looks. All right. All right, cool. So I need to lay it on the side here real quick. Nice and slow. All right. Push it up. It snaps in place. And then let's try the other one. Let's lay it on the side a little bit. snaps all right let's see how it works All right, so now that we have installed the dark plates, and I'm gonna tell you right now, they look really good. Now let's see if we can install the actual base. So the way this goes is this way. And pull from the back. And there it goes. And it fits. So if you play it like I do, it will work out just fine. Give it a good old zoom in here. And that's how it's gonna look like while you're playing. I'll connect it real quick and see how it looks with the lights turning on and how it looks underneath my TV. I'll be back real quick. So the battery died on my camera, so now I'm recording on my iPhone, but look at that. Look how that looks. I'm gonna stand the PS5 up real quick and I'm gonna show you how it looks with the front plate fascia on there. I don't know, this thing looks even better on my TV stand. Now, the big thing is if I would put it here, but it's just too high, too tall, and it kind of messes up with my TV. But look at that. So that is the startup light. Instead of blue, it kind of looks purplish. Now I'm gonna turn off the lights and have a go at it and see how it looks you can see some of that white light coming through so I might need to um, fix that here soon but overall 
you look at it from high on top, it doesn't look that bad. But otherwise, it looks perfect. All right, so there you have it. That's it. Do uh, I recommend getting the dark plates? Absolutely. Uh, the dark plate 2.0s, they are really good um, for what they do. They kind of make the PS5 a little bit smaller. And then how can you say no to that Damascus um, vinyl that the brand just threw in there for um, those people that were waiting for the plates to come in for um, a while now. Uh, now it was worth the wait. Uh, thank you, D-Brand. And if you want to hook a brother up and uh, do some sponsoring, I'm all about it. But anyways, that is it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the uh, upload. If you like my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. And I'll leave you guys and I'll see you next time.